Hey there, welcome back. I'm Simon. Now today what I'm going to be doing is backing up my ZHA network, my Zigbee dongle network, and removing my old Sonoff Zigbee stick. And then we're going to be updating it and restoring it back to this new one. This is the new Zong uh, Zigbee dongle plus MG24. And this one has got a more powerful radio. So follow along with me and let's see how this goes. Now to be totally transparent with you, Sonoff did send this brand new Zigbee dongle to me free of charge, but this is not a sponsored video and they have no control over what I'm about to say. So the Sonoff dongle plus MG24 works with Zigbee to MQTT, Home Assistant, OpenHab and iBroker. This device runs on the Silicon Labs EFR32 MG24 chip, which has 1.5 megs of flash and 256 kilobytes of RAM. It has a high gain antenna offering 4.5 dBi. So having a look at the new dongle in comparison to the one I've been using up to now, this is absolutely tiny in comparison. However, the actual antenna is way longer. Inside of the box, we also get this USB extension cable, which is very useful for allowing your USB dongle to be separate from your Home Assistant. So we go along to Home Assistant, Settings, Devices and Services, and we scroll down to our Zigbee Home Automation. And then we click on our generic Zigbee Coordinator click on Zigbee Home Automation, click on this over here, the wheel, and we're going now into the settings. Now what we're going to do is we're going to download the backup of our current ZHA network. There we go, that's done. Next we're going to press this button, the Migrate Radio button. ZHA will be just uh, stopped. Yes, we want to continue. Are you migrating to a new radio or reconfiguring the current radio? So we're migrating to a new radio. Before plugging the new radio, the old radio needs to be reset. An automatic backup where it will be performed. If you're using combined Z-Wave and Zigbee, no we're not. So now we can unplug our old radio. We've now plugged in the new radio and we're going to go submit. Select the serial port for your rig Zigbee radio. So let's just see now. Sonoff dongle Zigbee. There we go. MG24. That's the new one. We're going to go submit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to restore the backup. So I've got options here to do an automatic, restore an automatic backup, a manual backup, or create a network. So I'm going to go along and upload that manual backup that I've just downloaded. So let's go to the downloads page. There it is over there. So I'm going to pull in this. There we go. And I'm going to submit that. And there we go. It tells us that that has successfully been done. So let's go and have a look at our Zigbee devices. And there we go. They're all working. Wow, that's fantastic. Wow. Well, that was a very, very simple process. It's the first time I've ever actually done a backup and a restore of my Zigbee network. And I was really impressed. Given I have a very small network, I only have five devices on my network at the moment. I'm not sure how easy it would be if you had 150 devices. Please give me some feedback in the comments below if you've done large Zigbee networks and how this has worked. Now, Sonoff also offers this Sonoff dongle flasher, which means that you can take your new dongle and flash it with various firmwares. First thing we do is plug it into the USB port of our computer. Now we select now we select the connect button. There we can see it's showing up there. We press the connect. Seems to need you to do that twice for some reason. It's busy detecting the firmware and it gives you a countdown of how long that's going to take. Now we can actually go and we can select. So it's allowing us to upgrade to the latest Zigbee 8.0.2 firmware or we can change it to other versions. So we've got an open thread border router that we could flash it with. We've got a multi-pan. I'm guessing that's where it operates as both a thread and a Zigbee router. 
I'm not quite sure. And we could also um, select a Zigbee router flashware, or we could flash it with our own customized software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update it to the latest version. So we apply that and we flash it. So in summary, that was a really simple process, both to upgrade to my new stick and migrate my existing Zigbee network, as well as being able to simply flash it with upgraded software or flash it over to a thread border router. So please let me know what your thoughts are about this device and what you're doing in your Zigbee network at the moment. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.